Stop scrolling right now if you want to know why you're an empath. This is the actual science behind feeling other people's energy. If you're into neuroscience, things like that, and you're new here, make sure you hit follow. All right, so science proves that your emotions are actually radiating into the world. You've had this experience before in your life where you walked into a room or a certain situation and you just felt this really heavy energy. On the flip side, we all have those cheerleaders in our life, those friends that just lift us up, right? And we've wondered to ourselves, how come in certain situations I feel really heavy and drained and then around other situations, people, situations, whatever it might be, I feel uplifted, right? You're still with me and you've had these experiences. Let me know in the comments because I'm pretty sure you have. Well, it's not your imagination. Permission to stop gaslighting yourself. The heart generates what's called an electromagnetic field and it can be felt from up to several feet away. And when you're stressed or fearful, that field turns incoherent. That's what makes things feel heavy. When you're calm, grateful, or inspired, that's a coherent feeling. Neuroscientists call this neurocardiology. And this is super cool. There's an organization called HeartMath, and they've actually mapped to how heart rhythms shift brainwave states. And this is so cool because this explains why you attract certain experiences in your life based on how you feel. You know when you've been in a rut and you just feel like you can't put the shovel down and everything is just happening to you? We've all been there in that victim consciousness. Whereas when you feel aligned and you feel confident in all of those things, everything is just in flow state. This is the science behind that point is you're always broadcasting a signal and it's up to us intentionally how we want to broadcast that signal do we want it to be coherent or incoherent now if you walk around your life just thinking like okay I'm just going to be grateful and positive because that's why I want to show up in my life and you're not processing the negative stuff you're just going to stay stuck the real work is in the shadow work. That means making the unconscious conscious. So when you feel that negativity, instead of running from it or compartmentalizing it to avoid it, allow yourself to process it in real time so you can get to the other side and have that coherent signal. Now there's something called the 90 second rule that teaches that you can process heavy emotions in as little as 90 seconds. If you wanna learn the how, go to my profile, join us in the free, yes I said free, breath club there I will teach you how to move through heavy and dense energy to get to the coherent signal